Monica Rial wants a protective order. This is going to be juicy. Roll it. Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Do we have a doozy of a story today? Yesterday it came out that there has been a brand new court document for the Vic Mignogna versus Funimation, Jamie Marshy, Monica Rial and Ronald Toy. And the best thing about this is that we've just found out that Ron, Monica and all these people are lying. So, we're going to go into it. In this document, it, uh, as you can see, it's on the screen right here now. So we got obviously Vic Mignogna, the plaintiff versus Funimation Productions, District Court, blah, blah, blah. And it's really good because when you go down here, it's where it's actually underlined. Defendant's motion to quash notice to take the oral and videotape deposition of Monica Rial with subpoena deuces tecum and motion for protective order. So basically, what this means, say, we're going to go quickly through it first. So what it is, the deposition is a witness's sworn out of court testimony. It is used to gather information as part of the discovery process and in limited circumstances may be used at trial. With that, as you can see from we all read through it, to the Honourable Judge of said court. Now comes Monica Rial, defendant herein, and requests the court to quash a notice of deposition and to an issue a protective order in connection therewith and shows the following in support thereof. On or about May the 3rd, 2019, the defendant was served with a notice of deposition to take the oral and videotaped deposition of Monica Rial with subpoena Deuces Tecum, attached herein and incorporated by reference as Exhibit A, and referred to in this motion as the notice of deposition. In this matter to occur on the morning of May the 14th, 2019, beginning at 9am at the law offices of plaintiff's attorneys located at such and such a place in Texas. So this is actually going to be happening on next Tuesday morning. But the best thing is, they want to protect all of this so none of it is out there in the open for people to see. And what I absolutely love about all of that is they're basically hiding the fact that whatever they say, they don't want people to see. But I'm pretty sure I remember Monica, Ron, and a few other people. They were all going that, you know, yes, everything is going to be uh, coming out in the court. You're all going to look stupid. So I got a couple of tweets here. Not many, because there's way too many of them. But I got three funny little ones from Ron, which have been since April 20th and back. We have this one here. Oh yes, we will be fine. Once the truth comes out, the people who have been harassing us will look like morons. Another one. We shall see, smiley face. This isn't new info coming out either. This stuff has been talked about for years, and if you search just a little, you will see for yourself. First of all, everyone's looked and they can't seem to find this evidence, of which they say. And then, here's one here. You guys will find out soon enough. You guys wanted this and I can't wait for everything to come out. Well, little bit of a thing there, Ron. You and your uh, missus, you want to get a protective order so no one can see it. What are you hiding, Mr. Soy? Oh, this is going to be great, I'm telling you. On Tuesday... When they go in there and obviously they're getting videotaped, they're going to be asked questions, all sorts of questions as well, I may add. Not just the ones of, so uh, Mrs. Riel, when did Vic Mignogna touch you? What did he do to you? It's going to be everything else and they are going to have to provide over 100 people's statements, information, so as address and names and phone numbers, so they can all say, yes, it happened to me too. This is going to be glorious because, first of all, if you're just on Twitter loudmouthing it and saying, I can't wait for everyone to see what goes on here, it's going to be brilliant. And then 
a couple of days before the actual deposition is going to happen, you're like, oh no, can we get a protective order, please, judge? I don't want people knowing what I'm saying. I don't want people to see this. Well, don't go on Twitter and you don't go in loudmouth saying, oh yes, I'm the big man because I said so. If you want to see evidence, I will give you evidence. But when you ask for it, they go, oh yeah, I'm not going to give it to you. Or they're like, judge, please, protective order, quick. We can't let anyone know this. So... It's just glorious and brilliant, and it's going to be one hell of a kick in the teeth for <laughs> for everyone involved. Because how stupid must Ron and Monica look now to Jamie Marshy and Funimation and everyone when they've been going on Twitter swearing blindly that they want everyone to see this. They want everyone to see the, you know, the evidence and the information they have regarding Vic. But... Again, they just they want a protective order and they want it blocked. I think that is just so glorious. And in my eyes, that does go to show that 100% they have nothing. Because if that was me, and if someone was suing me for something they'd done to me, I would want everyone to know. I'm like, no, I told you I was right, here's the evidence. But when they want a protective issue and a protective order to hide everything they say... Then there's something rotten in the state of Denmark, and it has to be that these people are lying. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all your lovely faces soon.